Hello, my name is Angie. Welcome to my channel. Now, for those who are new to my channel, I feel I need to do this each time with each video I do because there are so many new people now following my channel. Doing these videos each day wasn't my idea. I'm being obedient to our Lord. He asked me to do it. I wait upon him, listen to his spirit, and simply share what he gives me. That's all I do. So that's what I'm doing again today. <laughs> I was sitting with our Lord this morning. I sit. I have time with him every day. Truly, he is the air I breathe. I can't do without him. I love him so much. Anything I do is as an overflow of my love for him. So I was sitting with him this morning in our quiet time together outside. And I was just pondering to myself, why is he showing me so much? Now, yesterday I got shown the, the great tribulations coming. I've seen the great apostasy, apostasy that's coming. I've seen incredible things. And I'm like, why is just pondering why is he showing me such things surely there are other people out there big platforms great ministry eloquence of speech um theology know it all surely he should be giving it to them and they can give it get it out to you know thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people so as I'm pondering, why is he giving me these things? Why is he showing me so much? Why is he revealing so much? Beautiful Holy Spirit spoke up. He said, because you are faithful. Which meant a lot to hear that. That I'm faithful to our Lord. I'm faithful what he gives me, I'm faithful with what he reveals to me. So over the years he's found me to be faithful. Hallelujah. So he can trust me with what I what he reveals, what he asks me to do, that I'll do according to him. Not me, him. His purpose is his will be done. From there and I went, but Lord, you are the one that's faithful. You are the one that's faithful. And then I knew in my spirit, he wants me to do a video. Now God is faithful. He is faithful and true and just. Oh, he's all beautiful. He's beautiful. It is, no matter what we're going through, in this world all those who are watching right now my beautiful family and our lord no matter what's going to come i've seen the great tribulation no matter what's going to come in our lives personally to affect us happening around the world to somebody else no matter whatever it is our god is faithful we could trust him. He is our hope. We lean, we lie, depend on him. Hallelujah. I'm going to share with you what he gave me. I've, I've printed it out. For those who are new to being drunk in the spirit, God's doing a new, well, it's not a new thing. It's been going on for a while, but it's just getting stronger. Each day, his spirit's upon me. His glory is upon me. <laughs> and it's just getting stronger and stronger. And as I sit here right now, knowing how strong his glory and the power of God that's on me right now is being released for all those who are watching. People who are watching these videos, and I can... Because <laughs> I'm what's called drunk in the Lord. It's an overflow of the Spirit of God. 
that's something we do i didn't have to pray three four hours i didn't have to do anything i'm being faithful this is what he tells me i'm being faithful so he's doing this regardless of what i've been through regardless of persecution regardless of what anybody says regardless of what satan tries to do i've been faithful to my lord so his glory is upon me every day, every day. His glory is strong in my home. If we're talking about the manifest presence of God, you can't fake that. We see it at every Wednesday and night and Saturday morning at Home and Park Church, the glory of God. There's about four of us in his church. Your eyes are open, can see the glory of God, a heavenly, he's mist, he's cloud. And when the glory of God comes, it's like a, a weight. It can be so strong that we had to end up on the floor. But when the glory is like that, it is the manifest presence of God. It can heal body, heal hearts. You're changed. And that is what my husband and I live in every day. It's been so strong upon me lately. It's just trying to do daily activities while the glory of God is on me so strong. I'm not sure why he's doing this. He tells me I'm faithful, so he's doing this. The purpose of it, at that glory, he's holy, holy presence be released. No matter where I go, these videos, whether you can feel it or not, his glory has been released. He's doing it. Now, and why also, yes, thanks Holy Spirit, is because I've made him my habitation. I've made him my habitation to where I dwell in the presence of God. So his presence being released, his glory has been released, his power has been released while I'm doing these videos. People are being healed. People are getting delivered just by doing a simple message like I am now. People are getting delivered of demons because of his glory power hallelujah it's walking in a whole new realm it really is and it's nothing of yourself it's a yielding surrendering to him choosing to be obedient no matter what people do no matter what people say no matter what the enemy will try to do you're obedient to him no matter how you feel about it no matter how your body may be feeling, no matter. You choose to live a life of obedience to the living and guidance of his spirit. And he will move. No matter what people say about you. God vindicates. There's proof in the pudding, you know that. <laughs> There's proof in the pudding. You've only got to see the fruits of someone who's made God their habitation. Life led by the Spirit of God. So I encourage you to watch these videos. Not because I want you to watch me. <laughs> but what he's doing through me is I'm obedient and faithful to him. What he's going to be doing for you through these videos. Okay, I wasn't expecting this bit called that, but it's so strong on me at the moment, the power of God, the, the glory is so strong. And I know if you're watching this video right now, you're being touched by him. You can get a healing in your body. You can get a healing in your heart. Walls in your heart start coming down because of his glory. Lives get changed because of his glory, his presence. Demons hate it. They leave. Hallelujah. I encourage you to watch my videos, these videos, because I've made him my habitation. But even more so, I encourage you to make him your habitation. Your habitation. Psalm 91.1 1. 
we dwell in the secret place of the Most High under the shadow of the Almighty. We'll say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress, our God, and whom we trust. Dwell in the secret place. You have made God your habitation, everything. He's He's everything to you. Now, I didn't expect to share all this, but obviously someone might need to hear it. When it becomes everything about him, not the world, not you, a laying down, a dying to self, seeking him daily, regardless of how you're feeling, regardless of the thoughts you might get, emotions you might be feeling, regardless of your circumstances, you are committed to spending time with him every day, just sitting and waiting upon him to hear his spirit through the word of God, through however way, in personal way he may talk to you, how he knows you will receive it. You wait upon him. Those who wait upon him, he'll answer. He's a gentleman. If you seek him, you will find him. When your life comes all about him, the very atmosphere where your walk changes. I assure you this is true. Okay, I'm going to get on to the message now that he's given me to share today. I've typed out a few things. And God bless you, those who are following my channel, what he's doing. We're on a journey together. Isn't this so special? So special. Oh, what is he going to do in our lives? To those who choose to love him and obey him, you are faithful. Because he is faithful and just and true. He rewards those who diligently seek him. Hallelujah. Okay. So I heard that the Holy Spirit said that I was faithful. He impressed upon my spirit what it means to be faithful. It means committed to God. In what he's leading and asking us to do, a life of obedience to him. That we can be trusted with the things that we are shown and asked to do. Do you know when God realizes that he can trust you, he will reveal more to you. He's not going to reveal things to you if he can't trust you with what he reveals. Now, if he's not revealing something to you, that doesn't mean he's not trusting you. It could mean that stuff is blocking your receiving from him. But when he starts revealing things to you, he will start revealing more. What are you going to do with what he reveals to you? Is it for your glory or his? Always for his and always for our sisters and brothers in Christ for their edification and encouragement, upholding them, loving them, edifying them. Okay. Always looking to him. Undivided attention. That means your full attention's on him. Staying the course. Don't get distra distracted. Don't let anything distract you. Stay the course with him. To be reliable, trustworthy, and dependable. Faithful to him and what he has asked you to do with nothing of self. It is all about him. And then I knew in my spirit he wanted me to do, I knew, I knew. He wanted me to do a video about God being faithful. He is faithful and true and just. His mercy endures forever. His loving kindness during the day. His faithfulness at night. Oh, hallelujah. God is faithful. God is committed to his children and the covenants he has made with us. He's reliable, trustworthy, and dependable. He will protect and defend us. In him we can trust and he is our hope. Then he gave me Hebrews 10.23 Let us hold fast 
the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. You hold fast your confession of your hope. Because God is faithful. Then he gave me Hebrews 11.11. 11. I love the four ones. I'll get into that another time. <laughs> Hebrews 11.11. 11. By faith, Sarah herself also received strength to conceive seed, and she bore a child. When she was past the age, because she judged him faithful, who had promised. You see, we are meant to judge. We know that. Not judge the person, but judge the fruits. We're meant to judge the fruits. Sarah judged the fruits of God and knew him to be faithful. If he said something, he's going to do it. It's that simple. <laughs> so Sarah bore a child because she was steadfastly, her gaze was fixed, looking at God. She was not looking at her own body, which was old and past childbearing age, but at the one who promised because she knew him to be faithful. She judged him to be faithful by his fruit. She knew God to be faithful. He is God. He's not a man that he would lie. Sarah's husband Abraham did not waver at unbelief. Though his body was a hundred years old, past the seed producing age, but trusted the one who was faithful. If you read Romans 4, 20 to 21, he, Abraham, did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief. You've got to be careful not letting unbelief enter your heart or doubt come near you. No, we believe, we trust in our Lord, and we stay steadfast in that. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God and being fully convinced that what he had promised, he also able to perform. So his trust was in God. He had faith in God. He knew him to be God. He's God. He's not human like us. Even when we are unfaithful, he remains faithful. Hallelujah. God brought Isaac forth through Sarah and Abraham, the promised son. Hallelujah. Just as Sarah judged God to be faithful by his fruits, God judges us faithful by our fruits towards him. And that's when the Lord gave me the parables. I actually heard good and faithful servant, which remind me of the parables. The parables of the talents is an example of this in Matthew 25, 14 to 30. You can read that yourself. <laughs> I'm not going to read all of it now. When the Lord said to his servant who was faithful of what he had been given, well done, good and faithful servant. Out of that, I will read out to you, though, Matthew 25, 21. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I'll make you ruler over many things. Enter in the joy of your Lord. Hallelujah. When we're faithful to God with the things he does give us, he'll give us more. He'll increase, he'll expand. And give more. And whatever the thing that he's been giving us. Hallelujah. We all want to hear our precious Saviour say to us when we face him soon. Because Jesus is returning soon. Well done, good and faithful servant. Don't we all want to hear that? To be faithful of those things he has asked us to do. With those things he has given us for his kingdom. Hallelujah. To live the character of our heavenly father. Who is faithful. Do you know faithfulness is a fruit of Holy Spirit. If you're walking with Holy Spirit you will be faithful. 
we are too. We become like the one we gaze upon, don't we? Jesus is faithful. He's God. The 301, the Father, the Son and the Spirit. Faithfulness. If you're walking by the Spirit of God, you'll be faithful to God. Faithful to others as well. They can trust and depend on you. You'll be faithful. Because our Father in Heaven is faithful. Then I was given 2 Thessalonians 3.3. 3. But the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. We can trust him. No matter what we're going through, we don't lean upon our own understanding. We trust him with all our hearts. Proverbs 3, 5. We can trust him to keep us from the evil one. No matter what we're going through, it doesn't make sense. When it actually feels like he's not protecting us, when it feels like he's not defending us, when it feels and even things appear that he's not, we can trust him, he's faithful. There's normally a bigger picture happening than the momentarily not nice thing that we're going through. There's a bigger picture. You keep looking to God because he's faithful. How can he not be faithful? Because it is what who it is who he is. And he's faithful to his children, faithful to the covenants he's made with us. He's God. He is perfect. He's perfect. You read in Lamentations 3, 20 to 22. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed. We are not con consumed because his mercies are new each morning. His mercy, we cannot do that. His mercy, hallelujah, we're not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope in him. God's mercy endures forever. His mercy is also known, if you read different translations in the Bible, as faithfulness. He's faithful. His mercy, his faithfulness endures generations. Then 1 Thessalonians 5, 23, 24. There were many verses, but I'm going to share only the ones that are highlighted to me. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you, and he sanctifies us by his truth. His word is the truth. Sanctify you completely, that your whole spirit, soul and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ which is our Lord, who's coming soon. And God will enable us to be blameless before him. No guilt. No wrong. Blameless. He who calls you is faithful. Who also will do it. Right? God will prepare us and have us ready for the return of his son, which is very soon. Our part is to look to him. Submit and yield the leading gods of his spirit is by his unction, his conviction that he places in our heart <laughs> to be obedient. God will have us blameless. God will have us ready for the turn of his son, which is very, very soon. Faith, which is, an, um, I'll just, yeah, I'll, I think we all know Hebrews 11.1. 1. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Faith will cause us to look beyond our circumstances, beyond what is happening in the world around us, and look to the one who is faithful and true. Jesus is known as faithful and true in Revelations 19.11. Our faith being in what he has done and will do for those who love him and accord according to his purposes. Romans 8.28. We all accord for his purposes. And we all love him, don't we? We all love him where we're at. My love for him might be different to how you love him. We love him where we're at. <laughs> However we can, where we're at. I love how God meets us where we're at. We should meet each other where we're at. 
None of us are perfect yet. We're all the workmanship of God. Our hope being rooted and grounded in the one who promised, who is faithful. So this whole video is because God is faithful. No matter what you're going through in your body, your health, no matter what you're going through with your finances, your relationships, your marriage, your pets, anything under your stewardship, no matter what's happening in your home, with your family, your loved ones, in the world around us, we all know what's going on in the world around us. No matter what's happening to us personally, to somebody else, the world around us. Can you repeat after me? God is faithful. Say that to yourself again. God is faithful. He'll never leave us or forsake us. He'll never disappoint us. If we feel disappointed, it's because we put an expectation on him to do things the way we think he should. <laughs> In the time we think he should. Truly trusting God is when things happen and you don't understand it. But you choose to trust him regardless. No matter what you're going through, you choose to trust him regardless. You choose to not look in the natural realm. This is happening, that's happening. You choose to trust the one who is faithful. Who will cause all things to work together for our good. The one who promised. He cannot be unfaithful he can't it's just not who he is he is righteous he's justice he's true he's perfect he is good we might put our expectations on him because we think he should do things a certain way like i said or in a time that we think he we he he should <laughs> maybe we're waiting a long time like sarah and abraham did and they end up producing an ishmael the God who promised was faithful and Isaac came forth. No matter what we're going through, he's faithful. Please let us be faithful to him. Let us be like our father. Let us walk in the fruit that is Holy Spirit, one of the fruits of Holy Spirit, which is faithfulness. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. When you're walking by the Spirit of God, you'll be faithful. Faithful towards others, faithful towards God. Faithful towards yourself. You'll be trustworthy and dependable, reliable. Others will be able to trust you. God will be able to trust you. We will reflect that beautiful character of our Father. When we look to him, knowing he is faithful, you'll have a peace. Yes, you will. You're going to have a peace no matter what you're going through because you're going to look to your Papa in heaven, your Heavenly Father, Abba, and know that he's faithful. He's got your hand. He won't let you go. He won't let you go. He'll hold on to your hand. Your part is to keep holding on to his hand. Trusting him, childlike faith, and the one who is faithful. Hallelujah. Now, Holy Spirit tells me talents. We've all been given something by God. Spiritual gifts, abilities, calls, destinies. And we need to be faithful in the things that he's asked us to do, no matter how small. And no matter how big, it's a lying down in your life and living for our Lord Jesus. A dying to self. The world will have us caught up in me, myself and I. What are others doing? When we need to be caught up in him, don't we? That's when you get your peace. That's when you have hope. 
when you're caught up in him. What he has done and will do. And when our Lord Jesus returns soon, we'll stand before him. And he will say to us, well done, my good and faithful servant. Because we're going to look at the one who is good and who is faithful toward us, aren't we? And we're going to reflect him. We're going to reflect the one we're looking at. If you look in a mirror, you're going to see a reflection, aren't you? Maybe you're looking at God steadfast looking at him you're going to reflect his character his nature his faithfulness hallelujah his love so holy spirit he's moving me <laughs> are you with my emotions are you everything to him holy spirit have your way please you're so beautiful holy spirit just have your way with all those who are watching right now, please. Oh, strengthen them again to know that God is faithful. And as they keep gazing upon him, that they themselves will be faithful. Faithful servants to the Most High God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, if every person is watching, please. And I ask that it would be a ripple effect. Have your way. Have your way. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is doing that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. If you want to receive from Holy Spirit right now, I would encourage you to sit there and put your hands out. Just put your hands out as if you're going to receive a gift from, from heaven above. That I receive from you, Holy Spirit. I receive from you, Holy Spirit. And expect him to be moving for you right now. He's touching hearts anyway. Even in your heart, you just say, I receive from your Holy Spirit. It's all he needs. It's all he needs. Just a little tiny seed of, little tiny mustard seed of faith. Yeah, and he needs a little tiny little bit <laughs> to move. And the more we give of ourselves, the more he can move. And when I say more give of ourselves, it's a letting go of self, denying self, surrendering of that more. The more we surrender, the more he can move. So when we give more of ourselves away, more of him can come. The walls in our heart come down. God bless you all. I truly look forward to seeing you in tomorrow's video. What he's going to have us learn about and share. Hallelujah. Freely you have received. Freely give. Share of others, please. Whatever God has given you, whatever you, he reveals to you, share of others as he leads by his spirit. Freely we receive, freely we give. All the years my husband and I did deliverance ministry here every day, six days a week, hours and hours and hours. We never asked for money. Freely we give. Freely we were given. Freely, freely we received. Freely we gave. Whatever God has given you, give to others. If it's revelations, share the revelations teaching whatever it is given you mercy whatever whatever he's given you whatever gifts freely you received freely give in love okay now i'll see you in the next video god bless you Mwah. bye bye